story is called Supermarket Zoo and it's a fantastic story, especially if you like animals. It's about a little boy called Albie. This is a little boy called Albie. The minute I wake up, I know something is different, but I can't quite figure out what it is. It's probably nothing. So I pick up my ball and I'm just going to out to play when Albie! Oh, it's mum. She has her car keys in one hand and a pile of bags in the other. This can only mean one thing. Shopping. Disaster. I hate shopping. But mum has me trapped and there's nothing I can do. He's got his car seat on and his seat belt. He's a good boy. At the supermarket, the first thing I notice is our trolley. It's enormous. I can't even reach the handle and there's a really funny smile. Hmm. Mum doesn't seem to notice. She just hands me the shopping list and sets off. Let's have a look what it says. It says six monkeys, two giraffes, fresh lizards, two kilos of tortoises, 27 parrots, give or take, uh, a pride of lions, two bales of hay, five tins of lion food, vegetables, fruit, nuts, and a tie. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Right says mum. Reptiles first, chameleons or iguanas, we'll need two. This is mad, but mum seems to think it's completely more normal. I pick out two green and orange chameleons and place them in the trolley. Mum says, gently now, don't bruise them. <laughs> we hurry past the rattlesnakes and cobras to the tortoises. I spot a sign saying, free salad with every tortoise. So we take three. Next, we pass the cool cabinets. I say, can we get a penguin? Mum sighs. <sighs> okay, but get one from the back because it'll be fresher. Then this polar bear smiles at me. Please, I say, but mum is cross. No, not today. At the giraffes, we pick a mother and baby special and then we head off to find some parrots. I've never heard such screeching and squawking. I like the toucans best, but mum says it's parrots or nothing. People say it's good luck if a bird poops on your head, but I don't think that mum agrees at all. Next on the list are the monkeys. Now, everyone knows monkeys are tricky, but have you ever tried getting six of them to sit in a trolley full of pecking parrots? It's impossible. In the end, I have to open a packet of nuts to keep them all quiet. Their trolley's looking really full now. Then we get to the lions. Wow. Now, I love watching big cats on TV, but to look one straight into the wide eyes of a hungry lion, well, that's something else. Mum chooses one of the meanest looking beasts I've ever seen. I'll go and find the lion food, I say. Not that I'm scared or anything. We pile in bags of carrots, monkey nuts, bananas, seeds and mangoes. By the time we get to the checkout, the trolley is so heavy, I can hardly push it. Look at that trolley. Mum heaves our shopping onto the conveyor belt while I start to pack. It's a big job. We are nearly done when Mum rushes off shouting, keep going, I won't be a minute. She always forgets something. <gasps> but I wasn't expecting this. Wow. Outside, we open the car and it looks so small. It's lucky that mums are good at packing or we'd have never got everything in. Imagine that if you went shopping with your mummy and had all of those animals. Well, I told you this morning that I thought something was different and it turns out I was right. This has been the best shopping trip ever. Just look at all my new friends. Hmm, I wonder what we'll buy next week. Things to buy from the Monster Market. Two spotted furzel wurzels, three bouncing bongle tweezels, two, three kilos of bug-eyed flom strops, warp garglers, blimps, nozzles of bog trumpers. I'd love to see that book too. I hope you enjoyed the supermarket, Sue, everybody. See you soon.